Who is Mickey? February 9, 2020, at the Oscars. Mickey is known worldwide. She represented in a Korean production film. Released in 2019, tells the story the secret of the Kim works family. for the wealthy Park family. Step by step, they pretended not to know each other, and impersonating highly qualified individuals gradually entered this family. When the family. Kim family day, one became Indispensable a part. importance of the Park Tensions family. increase, and then a chain of unexpected events occurs. Led to horrific and violent deaths. Parasite is the first film not to use English, and won the Best Film Award in the past 92 years. At the end of the thank you speech, the lights suddenly went The sound out. of the microphone gradually faded away, famous before people. the sound of come the crowd's on, distress. Come on, come on. The heat from the crowd finally caused the lights to come back on. A woman filled with super confidence and coolness. Everyone arrived and a smiling head appeared that was Mickey. Even though Mickey's appearance was somewhat brief, the endless flow of light from her seemed to spread flow. to everyone in the room and constantly thank the director, the cast, and the production team, and everyone who has ever seen Parasite, Parasite. Then, she also thanked her brother, Jay, who has always supported the crew, according to Mickey. That day, the world thought a lot about Parasite, and felt full of energy when meeting that radiant 62-year-old woman Mickey. But only a few people know this connection. Mickey, also known as Mickey Lee, the granddaughter of Lee byung Chol, also known as BC, and was once part of the Samsung Empire. BC's departure led to a family dispute, split the business into four separate entities. Each entity gradually became its own empire over time. Mickey returns to CJ Group, one of the largest media empires in Korea, with footprints present throughout Hollywood. However, CJ still cannot compare with mainstream Samsung, where the revenue is more than six times the total revenue of the entire CJ Group combined. CJ Group is part of the vast history of Samsung's complex past, which gave birth to four separate empires. They are Sehin, Hansen, Shinsegi, and CJ. Among these four corporations, the two largest corporations are a Shinsegi. retail Jebin Group, and CJ is a media Jebin Group. The birth of these four corporations was part of a brutal family conflict when BC's Samsung Empire became too big. Supported by President Park Jun-hee in 1961. At that time, Samsung was a collection of companies, from food production and up to insurance and retail. It all revolves around a bank. Samsung's unique structure is formed from BC's belief in diversifying and reflecting businesses, traditional family business in Japan. Through careful political relationships, he accumulated wealth and power. Both made him a target for Park Jun-hee. President Park is also known as Tuong Park, led a military coup and took over the current government. Born into well-educated but poor circumstances, 
He joined the army and eventually worked under with the Japanese occupying Korea. Witness the influence of dealings from the family empires that BC admired. He realized that, although these large corporations could promote economic development, then they need to be controlled by the government. And today, in May 1961, he would control Samsung. Fresh summer rain is falling from the dark night sky. When BC got into a jeep, under the guidance of a young Korean man, he prayed that they would take him to a hotel instead of a jail cell. BC returned to Korea from Japan to defend himself against Park. Everyone knows that many businessmen have been detained in prison. A clear sign that, Tuong Park is also a really serious person. Oh my god, BC might have exclaimed as the jeep turned into a hotel. At least you'll be safe tonight. Ah, BC Seal, the young man said, tomorrow we will come here to pick you up. Where to go? Go to the Supreme Council to hand over the nation. Oh dear. BC probably thought because he knew the Supreme Council This place well. is full of people with the same mentality as Park. It seemed like he could count down the days to his demise. BC got out of the car and was led by a group of people from Mr. Park. Passing by the secretary's office, he entered one. The room contained a large man wearing dark glasses. Immediately, he recognized it as Mr. Park, the new Clock dictator is of the Korea. only person who can help him avoid prison. Even though the room was full of people, the space was unusually quiet. There was no sound as BC slowly walked in to face his fate. You can say anything, Mr. Park. Command, so just speak without fear. Without a word of greeting or introduction, BC Maybe I had feel it. like my future is slipping away. He knows his strength is building relationships, but with Park Sauce, it seems like it's all about business. Anyway, he still defended himself. No, I think the people will not accept what you just said. Tuong Park interrupted as he looked up and smiled slightly. BC recognized that look. It was the look of someone who already had a decision in hand. BC, know what you're building here with Samsung. I've seen Japanese red shoe slots. Tuong Park is referring to a type of Japanese corporate structure. Many business units revolve of. around the financing of a bank. These companies will own shares of each other and trade together and continue to expand with the support of the bank. Now BC, you need to know that I hate corporate structures like this. I hate the way they hoard wealth and power. And I hate how they will eventually strangle the nation. BC is probably praying for a miracle. But I don't hate you, at least not yet. Do you want to continue building Samsung? BC couldn't believe it. Seemed like he had a chance to escape. Of course, we will do anything. That's right, you'll have to do Theo. From now on, Samsung will be associated with the development of our nation. You can still become rich, but only if Korea is prosperous. Starting tomorrow, we will own your banks. And you will pay the government $4.4 million for all the trouble you caused. Do you accept? BC felt it was a rhetorical question, but anyway, he felt relieved. A hazy future is better than no future, Mr. Trofot. During the next few years, General Bach, who later became President Bach, has forced Sharebone corporations to serve the government Way to by. deprive any available financial resources. They depend on the government for survival, which is only provided if they meet production targets. If any business fell behind, he would withdraw German funding and forced Sharebone Group to face the possibility of bankruptcy. His professional management of empires 
This business has become a boom in history. Female called the miracle on the Han River, a rising Growth phase. increases Korea's GDP per capita, increased more than 200 times from 1960 to present. One big reason is the export-oriented Forcing mindset. Sharebone Group to sell goods abroad and attract investment capital into the country. This also turns its people into a competitive advantage by investing country. heavily in skills, education, and knowledge. The relationship between President Park and BC finally and changed. And by the end of the year, Sharebone corporations were organized. organized into a group of Korean industrial federations. Together with the government, they will hold negotiations. Senior level to regulate their business and regime. At the same time, negotiate against heavy government intervention. Under the leadership of President Park, he will mount. Linking the success of corporations with Korea forcing them to enhance their economies as they grow. In return, he also issued policies to protect Korean businesses. That's why, even though Korea seems globalized, almost all major suppliers are still Korean companies. However, there is something that General Park does not Sharebone know. Sharebone Group is the secretly episodes. changing behind your back. Especially, PC has decided that if Samsung succeed, wants, they will need more control. His intentions that day led to a battle. The biggest eunuch conflict ever. As a manufacturing agent, Samsung Electronics was born. It's 1966, and Samsung is very popular with President Park. 18 months ago, they agreed to build a fertilizer plant. The first type can make agriculture sustainable on a large scale. This also partly declares to the world that Korea is expanding and growing stronger. Because the factory will have a capacity of 330,000 tons, the largest in the world at that time. This project seems to be associated with many expectations. Samsung, their the form, largest sharebone corporation, was awarded the contract. To finance the project, the government used a combination Japan's of Japan's reparations from World War II and US payments to Korean soldiers sent to the Vietnam War. In other words, the government used the money they had, fighting hard from the blood of his own people, making the project more meaningful with patriotism. It took 18 long months, the last river was in the coastal city of Ulsan. The factory is ready. It's an iconic moment where, that's classic. And modernity, nature, and people blend perfectly. You will see the super blind spring disease pass. Landscape painting mixed with clouds. Next to it is a field with Korean farmers, wearing traditional costumes. And government officials in western style uniforms. But very quickly, all dreams crumbled. Production of 330,000 tons is in short supply, causing an intense investigation. Turns out, Lee Chen He. BC's second son and potential successor, and selling imported chemicals to a manufacturing Saccharin, company, an artificial sweetener. The factory built on the blood of Koreans has become a huge scandal. The proceedings in Congress immediately spiraled out of control. Eat this, saccharin, an opposition lawmaker shouted in court as he threw a ball away. As authorities cleared everything up, B.C. and his son, Chen He, was once again summoned to investigate. The evidence presented clearly points to Chen He as the culprit. Chen He's sentence will be announced tomorrow. The judge's words rang out before the end of that day's session. Behind, the real discussion about Chen He's punishment is about to And it is place. related to B.C.'s writing for mercy. It turns out BC is not as valuable as he thought. At the request of the president of BC, he was forced to give up 51% of and the fertilizer And resigned as chairman plant. to reduce his son's prison sentence to five years. This will be one of many economic deals brought about by the BC president's regime, where criminal businessmen can have their sentences As reduced. long as they serve the state's economy. It has been pushed to the extreme.
And today, about 50% of the leaders of the top 10 chables have been convicted. However, each of them has received grace, pardon from the president, often without the need for jail time. To be fair, the BC president never intended to abuse but it. But his regime set a precedent for permission. Many chable heads benefited from it. Back in court, BC reluctantly agreed and handed over the rights. Samsung executive Cho Lee Man Hee, his eldest son. At that time, Samsung was a force to be reckoned with. They just acquired TBC, which will later merge with KBS South Korea's largest and national radio and television station, and also acquired Shinsegi, which later one became of the largest retail chable. But more importantly, they founded the Central Times in 1965, a Korean news agency simulating Japanese daily newspapers. It is one of the largest news agencies in the world that time and is today part of the top three. The Central Times is the representative Samsung voice of, help them have a voice when needed. But in 1966, there wasn't much interest. Power when Samsung fell into chaos. Lim Menhi, the eldest son, is known to cause trouble. The leaks in the family began to surface and soon spread throughout Samsung. Just six months later, BC was right to feel hesitant. Stories began to appear throughout the world. Samsung about Lim Menhi's unusual behavior. Have you heard anything? He fired a Browning rifle. in front of Samsung executives. No, I heard him shoot at an employee. Samsung guards, I heard a better story. He made the executives of the Central Times kneel before him. BC cannot afford to miss any more rumors and returns to the position of president. The first heir to the Samsung Empire was officially dismissed. Before his lifetime, there were many rumors about him. Some are confirmed by him in his autobiography, making his actual exile seem pre-planned. But regardless of those stories, everyone agrees that B. C finally lost his mind after BC announced in 1967 Samsung that Company will now belong to Lee Kun Hee, his third son. By 1968, Samsung was still a powerful empire, even though the lace opponents in the Lee family interrupted did. their rapid growth, but they went on to found a paper company in 1967. But this year, something special happened. Japan is going through a technological revolution, and a new company is emerging. Sony over the past few years, the BC presidential administration has Sony realized not only that. put Japan on the map but also dominates the television and radio industry in the US. A country that people thought could not be taken over by an Asian country. Luckily, Samsung's BC has also observed this change, and both President Bob and Samsung approached Sanyo. This company was owned by Panasonic after the earthquake caused the company to collapse, but in November 1968, Sanyo was an empire and is credited with promoting the military and TV industries through a trade deal said to benefit Sanyo. Sanyo's founder has agreed to become an advisor to BC and his military training. Things happen quickly, and on December 30, 1968, Samsung has established a new corporation, Samsung Sanyo Recruited Electronics. Recruited and trained 137 employees. Over time, in 1970, NEC Corporation, Japan's leading telecommunications equipment manufacturer, learned about the agreement and soon cooperated with Samsung. This partnership model appears to form the strategic for playbook. how Samsung operates in the future, especially with microwaves, TVs, and eventually smartphones. Through sponsorship or provision of services, Samsung will learn about a component of a product final product and then become Before a supplier. Before learning about the entire product to become a competitor. Build, deliver, learn, compete. A strong strategy will prove effective in future battles with Sony and Apple. Finally, Samsung Senio Electronics became Samsung Electronics, the precious suite of the Samsung Empire. Huh, 
That's ridiculous. Li Chan He, PC's second son, sitting in his cell, counting the minutes. He heard the announcement from his father his that his younger brother, Kun He, will manage Samsung. She doesn't have the courage to do that. She just knows how to hit. He and lay avoid down it. and silently rested. In Korea, prisons are typically designed to hold six people, but for the rich and famous, there is only one person. Father will give me back control of Samsung, and this time will run it more cautiously. I thought so. That's right. Dad will welcome me back with open arms. After being released from prison, he was sent home by a private driver where he was waiting to be welcomed by a leader. Father, I'm back. Chan He, called. My son, welcome back. BC replied. Sitting around the table are BC and his younger Kun brother, He, who is silent. So dad, I've heard about our e-business. It sounds interesting. I have some ideas. Maybe you should rest. BC interrupted. A feeling of fear was weighing on Chan He. This is my welcome ceremony. So Chan He continued. It's okay, I've rested enough. I have an idea for your temporary successor, Kun He. It's not temporary. What do you mean? I mean, it's a definite decision. Kun He is the successor. No, he cannot lead. In the family, you're the best business Dad man. Dad knows that. Okay, I mean, I made a mistake. But you will grow cautiously. That's the problem with Chan He's dreams. My dreams are too small for Samsung. I only care about small details and operate on a small scale. Chan He couldn't believe it. This is ridiculous. Regardless of my weaknesses, surely my self-deprecating younger brother is not a better choice. I can dream big, Dad. I mean, I dreamed big. Just tell Dad. That's enough. Please go. Chan He's blood was boiling gradually walked towards the door he stopped just before opening the door father you will regret this the whole family will regret this that night chen he couldn't sleep he was haunted by the belief that he was better at running the company but was turned into the company's clown by his father enough was enough he decided and the next day, an anonymous letter arrived. The only one who seems to be able to put the Beachy in the correct position. North, General. And in the letter providing details of allegations about a slush fund and mentioning saccharin. The letter created a divide. When both second son Chan He and eldest son Men He blamed each other. The atmosphere of lies. And distributed throughout the Samsung group. Beachy had no choice. Except for dividing the Samsung Empire into four separate companies. Samsung Electronics is not included. Shijai started as a sugar processing factory and became a movie, Chabel. Assigned to Beachy's eldest son, Lee Men He. Sinsage, the largest department store. Assigned chain. to his Australian daughter, Lee Myung He. Hansol became the largest paper factory in Korea. Assigned to his eldest daughter, Li and He. And the rest that is Se Han belongs to Li Chin He. In contrast to the chaos, Bichi's third son, Lun He, is quiet. It seems more appropriate to run the business by this elimination. This causes instability in the executive desk of Samsung Electronics. The biggest precious suite fell into his a hands. A lucky heir they now have to work with. And at first, it, it seemed like that. Lee Kun He grew up at Samsung and made many mistakes. But as the world would soon learn, he was more than just a lucky heir. He would grow to become the man credited with transforming Samsung Electronics into the global giant it is today.